Welcome to Arc Tactic Forecaster, a new addictive art world competition. Arc Tactic Forecaster is an auction quiz game that earns you points and player rankings based on the accuracy of your predictions for art coming up for sale in live auctions. Join a rapidly growing global community of players consisting of art professionals, collectors, art enthusiasts, and students. In the next few minutes, I'll take you through some of the key features of the game. Signing up. First of all, it's free. If you haven't yet set up an account, do the following. Click on Login Sign Up button on the top right corner. You now have the following three options. Sign in via Facebook, sign in via Twitter, or sign in by filling in the simple registration form. Remember that if you want to stay anonymous, use an alias. This is the name that will be associated with your player profile. How does it work? Answering quizzes. You don't need to play all quizzes, but there's a small punishment to the score for every quiz that you don't participate in. You have to weigh up the options between answering quizzes on auctions you're less confident about or accept a small decrease in your player score. Results and scores. You might be wondering what the scores mean and how they're calculated. We won't bore you with the details, but in short, it does the following. The aim of the forecaster score is to provide a measurement of the forecasting skill of each player which is loosely related to the probability which you might assign to the player making a correct prediction. Like a probability, the score has a minimum possible value of 0 and a maximum possible value of 100, and the actual level will fluctuate within this range over time as players make more forecasts. Skill Levels As you can see, we have five different skill levels. First, Art Researcher. This is for players with an overall score above 10. Second, Senior Art Researcher. This is for players with an overall score above 20. Third, Art Market Analyst. This can be achieved for players with an overall score above 40. Fourth, Senior Market Analyst. This is obtained for, by players with an overall score above 60. And lastly, Art Market Expert. This is for players who must have an overall score of 70 or above. Follow. Spotted somebody that's making rapid progress or just ahead of you in the ranking? Press the follow button on their profile page and you can track how they're doing versus yourself. You can follow up to six different players. Share. Did you set a new record score or achieve a higher ranking? Make sure you share the good news with your friends and colleagues through Twitter or Facebook. Start to play. Click on active quizzes on the top left. The timer tells you how much time is left before the quizzes close. Click on play to start your forecasts. There's a number of information tools available for each lot. Lot information. Lot information takes you to the auction house website and allows you to read the notes and background information on the lot. We highly recommend you start with this research, as this will help you in gathering as much information about the object as possible, so you know more about the object's characteristics, provenance, and also to see if there's a financial guarantee associated with the lot, as this would affect the outcome of the auction. Previous Lots by the Artists These are artworks related to the artists that have featured in previous quizzes and gives you a sense of the performance of these lots and how many players got these forecasts correct. These lots might not be comparable to the lot in question, so it's important that you try to find close comparables, otherwise you might risk comparing apples and pears. Past Performance As a new player, this graphic will not appear, as you haven't yet built up any forecasting history. This is a barometer that allows you to quickly see how well you've done in past quizzes regarding this specific artist and also to view the actual results. This is a very useful tool, and the more you play, the more history is built up, and it allows you to calibrate your forecast based on your previous results. So, for example, if I realize that I have a strong tendency to predict that hammer prices will do better than the actual results, I might then, for the upcoming auction, lower my expectations slightly. Be aware that the auction house could have done the same, and the new estimates might reflect a downward adjustment in pre-sale estimates.
Comparables. We normally add one to two comparable transactions. We would also advise you to seek out comparable transactions in auction house auction price databases such as Artnet, ArtPrice, or ArtInfo. Now it's time to forecast. Select the interval that you believe represents the final hammer price. It's good practice to come up with what you think the value should be before actually choosing the interval. Although the auction estimate is a good starting point, don't forget that more than 40% of the lots in the quizzes we have done so far do not end up selling within this estimate. The same procedure will be carried out for each of the five lots. The more you play, the more historic data you have to help you forecast, and the quicker you can complete the quizzes. Again, don't worry about getting it wrong. This is part of the game and the learning process. Better doing it here than in real life. Checking out your performance. Go to My Analytics. The table provides you with an overview of your performance and your current rank in different collecting categories. The graphs allow you to see your historic score and rankings, and you can compare this to other people that you follow. You can click on the legend where you have the different players that you follow to remove and add a line to the graph. Also, you can hover the mouse cursor over the graph to see the exact score in any, at any given point. Quiz results. This allows you to see the results of your previous quizzes. These quiz results will also be sent out via email. Ranking. This is the overall player ranking and rankings in individual collecting areas. You can search for players in the search box. You're now ready to play. We wish you the best of luck and enjoy the learning. If you have any questions, drop us an email at info at